An example of the efficiency ratio is the capital intensity ratio. The capital intensity formula is assets divided by sales. We get assets from the balance sheet and we get from the income statement. Please note that the income statement is a flow account, which means it is calculated over a year, while a balance sheet is a stock account, which is calculated on a certain day. Since we cannot compare a year to a day, we need to convert a day into a year by getting the average of two balance sheet items. So, we will use one income statement and two balance sheet items. In summary, anytime you find a financial ratio that includes an item from an income statement and an item from the balance sheet, you will use the income statement item and get the average of the balance sheet items. So, we can rewrite the capital intensity ratio as average assets divided by sales. Let's calculate the capital intensity ratio for the year 2018. To find the average assets, let's look at the balance sheet. Please note, 2018 is the first year of operations. Consequently, we cannot get the average assets as we do not have the previous year. We have assets in the year 2018 of $100 million, divided by sales of $50 million, which is equal to two times. The unit of the capital intensity ratio is times. It means that for every dollar of sales, the company utilizes $2 of total assets. The lower the capital intensity formula, the better. It measures the efficiency of using assets to generate sales. Capital intensive industries have a higher capital intensity ratio. Labor intensive industries have a lower capital intensity ratio. Next, let's calculate the capital intensity ratio for the year 2019. Let's look at the balance sheet for the average assets in the years 2019 and 2018. We have assets of 110 million in 2019 and assets of 100 million in 2018, which is equal to average assets of open bracket 110 million plus 100 million close bracket divided by 2 divided by sales in 2019 of 60 million which is equal to 1.75 times the unit of the capital intensity is times it means that for every dollar of sales the company utilizes 1.75 dollars of total assets as we said before, the lower the capital intensity ratio, the better. It measures the efficiency of using assets to generate sales. Capital intensive industries have a higher capital intensity ratio, whilst labor intensive industries have a lower capital intensity ratio.